Uh, hello, welcome to this topic. This is the topic uh, seven on in week six uh, LU decomposition and matrix inversion. It is chapter 10 of the book. <clears throat> By LU decomposition means L is for lower and U is for upper. So we will decompose a matrix, a square matrix, into lower and upper uh, triangular matrices. So it is an efficient way to pro compute matrix inverse by separating the time consuming elimination of the matrix A from manip manipulations of the right hand side B. And uh, the Gauss elimination in which the forward elimination comprises the bulk of the computational effort can be implemented as an LU decomposition. So we have earlier applied the Gauss elimination methods and there are many steps in the Gauss elimination methods which can be applied to uh, find the LU decomposition met uh, met met matrix. So for example if the system of the equations is Ax is equal to B this can be decomposed into two matrix that means the matrix A it is L and u where l is the up lower triangular matrix and u is the upper triangular matrix such that l u is equal to a and if you have l u and then if you will multiply by x then it will be equal to uh, b so we can uh, then uh, solve this system of the linear equation in this way so from if first we will decompose matrix A into L and U. From matrix L we will find an intermediate matrix D and then from this matrix D then we will find the final solution using a uh, matrix U. So in the uh, L D is equal to B forward substitution will be used. In U X is equal to D uh, backward substitution will be used. So uh, step one. LD is equal to B is used to generate an intermediate vector D by forward substitution. Step 2. UX is equal to D is used to get the answer X by back substitution. Uh, and this uh, we will solve some uh, examples and then this will be uh, very much clear by after solving the examples. So this is the diagrammatically uh, uh, shown procedure for the uh, LU decomposition. So it is the, the procedure is in, includes the decomposition first from A into U and L and then uh, substitution first forward substitution then the backward uh, substitution. So let's see it with the help of an example. So uh, decompose with Gauss elimination. Uh, Okay, so derive an LU decomposition based on the Gauss elimination performed in example 9.5. So in example 9.5, uh, we had this uh, matrix A. Okay, so we need to decompose this matrix A into L and uh, U. Okay, so we can decompose this matrix into L and U uh, uh, by uh, Gauss elimination steps. So that I can show it better on the uh, Microsoft Excel. So I will switch to Microsoft Excel. We have this matrix and then I switch to uh, Microsoft Excel. So in Microsoft Excel, first of all, I will write this matrix A. So it is 3, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.3. Uh, this is the given matrix. A. So <clears throat> I put A over here. Uh, so I have to convert this matrix A into the upper triangular matrix by Gauss elimination. So for this Gauss elimination first step will be uh, that uh, uh, this uh, first row will be same. Okay. And then we will make these two elements as zero. So how we will make these elements as zero? So what? Uh, okay, a step-by-step -step procedure for making this as the Gauss elimination method implies some factors. So uh, that factor is this element divided by uh, three. 
this one is true okay and then another factor will be for, that will be for the third row that will be equal to uh, this element in the third row divided by the element in this first row okay so what we will do is uh, i will now uh, in this uh, cell i will take this uh, element and then i will uh, fix it and then multiply it with the first row element and then subtract it from the um, from subtracted from there the second row element so that will make it zero and then i will copy the other elements and now <coughs> uh, for the next one uh, it will be same i will take this element i will fix it by pressing f4 multiply it with the uh, first row element then subtract it from the uh, second row okay third row sorry and then that will make it zero and then i will copy it so in this way i will get uh, some uh, element which is partially upper triangular only this factor, uh, factor need to be uh, made as uh, zero but we in other words but we also got these two factors which will be used in the lower triangular matrices so in the third step now uh, these first two rows will be same okay first two rows will be same okay and then i will use a third uh, factor so that third factor will be equal to this element divided by uh, this coefficient okay so it will be a minus 0 0.02713 and now for this element to make it zero so that means what i will do is i will take equal sign i will take this element press f4 uh, multiplied by this uh, element over here and then subtract from minus 0.919 and then that will make it zero so i will copy it over here and also copy it here so that is of course will be uh, that will be of course it will be zero control v okay so in this way now i have got this upper triangular matrix and then for the uh, the three elements of the lower uh, triangular matrix so i can uh, manually make this uh, upper and lower triangular matrix as something like this so this will be equal to uh, this one and the second one will be this one sorry this one and uh, uh, the third one will be because the uh, yeah actually it should be like this yeah the, uh, the first element will be one because this upper triangular element will be one zero zero and then this will be one and then zero and then here this will be the uh, third element uh, and, uh, equal to uh, this one this element this will be the third element and then that will be zero so uh, this one is uh, this one will be the lower triangular matrix okay and then this one oh sorry this one will be the upper triangular matrix okay lower upper triangle so we can verify it by a matrix multiplication so for example if i multiply these two matrices like this m i use m m u l t okay and then first array and then comma second array and then bracket close and then ent I enter control shift enter so it will fill up everything so uh, now I get this okay so now in fact this uh, LU 
which we have got over here is uh, not the same as this matrix A. So that means there is some mistake. So first mistake I can see is that this is not, uh, uh, I forgot to put one over here. So there should be one. Uh, but it is still not the same as this. There is a difference. So what was the mistake? The mistake was in this step over here. Actually, uh, this factor has to be multiplied by minus one and then added to the second row. Okay, so therefore I need to make some changes into this formulation. So for example, I need to put minus over here and then plus. Okay, minus the factor plus added to this row and then I need to copy it. Okay, and then same changes will be here for so add it minus and then plus and then here and then for this one also um, minus and then plus and then I will copy it here and then you can see that now this has already been automatically been updated and then we got the same matrix. So A is equal to LU. In summary, the LU decomposition uh, means uh, first determine the three factors for the, uh, for example, if, these, uh, if this is the three by three matrix, so we need to determine these three factors. So first factor, maybe I can say it as F1 and then the second factor F2 and then this is the uh, third factor f3 okay so f1 f2 and f3 these factors we need for the uh, lower triangular matrix so lower triangular matrix the form will be in this case 1 0 0 and then it will be 1 uh, 0 and then it will be a 1 here and then for these three and elements f1 should be f1 and then it should be f2 and then it should be f3 okay and where f1 is so f1 is basically uh, this element divided by this element okay 0.1 divided by 3 and then f2 is 0.3 divided by 3 and then f3 we get from the second iteration okay so this f3 element is here it is equal to minus this minus 0 0.9 divided by 7.03 and remember that we multiply this factor by minus 1 then multiply by uh, the uh, uh, this uh, uh, row which is being used over here so this row element 3 over here and then add it to that particular row which we are changing okay and then in this way we can very easily assist in a systematic way and transform the uh, matrix into LU decomposition so we get the U matrix we get the L matrix and then we can verify by matrix multiplication so LU is same as A. So we move back to the PowerPoint. So, so this was the same example. So in this example, this was the original matrix. So we converted it into the Q matrix. So I explained it in the Excel. And then uh, and this shows that how these uh, factors F1, F2, and F3 were obtained basically these were the uh, from the position wise these were the f21 f31 and f32 uh, factors and then f f factors uh, created the l uh, the lower triangular matrix with one as the elements in the diagonals and then we can verify it by multiplying l with u and then we found that uh, we got the same matrix okay so we see one more uh, example of course this is the continuation of this uh, previous example the how to uh, illustrate the substitution step steps for the solution of the simultaneous equations 
uh, the problem statement is complete the problem initiated in this uh, previous example by generating the final solution with forward and backward uh, forward and back substitution so in this case uh, this was the original uh, matrix and uh, in example 9.5 uh, this was the these were the coefficients of the uh, vector p okay so set of three equations in the uh, matrix form so right now in the previous example we found that uh, uh, the forward elimination phase of the conventional Gauss elimination uh, resulted in this okay so 3 minus 0 0.1 minus 0 0.2 0 7.033 0 .3, and this one this was the upper uh, triangular uh, matrix and uh, we got uh, this as the equation okay but don't get confused uh, you can see that this is uh, not the same as this so let me show it on uh, excel okay so how the things will be performed so just remember these uh, three original uh, coefficients in the system of this equation so let me go to the excel and now <coughs> i have this uh, equation a and maybe i can write this matrix b coefficients as um, 7.85 minus 19.3 and 71.4 okay so uh, the steps of uh, LU decomposition for the solution of the uh, equations are that we use this uh, L matrix okay and uh, we use this uh, original matrix B here it's a L matrix and then this B matrix uh, by forward substitution can give us the values of the intermediate uh, vector D1, D2 and D3 so D1 uh, will be equal to simply this because this is uh, by the forward substitution so this will be the forward substitution so because this is the equation now if we multiply uh, this by d1 d2 d3 the d1 will be equal to 7.85 okay and then that is uh, divided by 1 so it is of course 7.85 and then we will get d2 so d2 for by the forward substitution will be then equal to uh, this value okay and uh, minus this coefficient minus this coefficient and multiplied by the value of d1 okay so we will get minus 19.5617 and what will be d3 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 will be equal to uh, this value minus 0 0.1 this value times the value of d1 and then uh, minus uh, this coefficient times the value of d2 so this is by forward substitution so we got 70.08429 so now i have this u matrix so maybe i can write down this u matrix here like this so i have this u matrix here and i have this uh, d1 d2 d so from these two matrices so in in between there is x1 x2 and x3 okay x1 x 
two and x three and then we have this d one d two d three so it is this value so from here i can use the backward substitution so for the for the backward substitution what will be the value of x three so Okay, so this is x1, this is also x1, so for the backward substitution x3 will be found out for, so for the x value of x3 this will be equal to this value divided by this, okay, so that will be exactly 7. And now for x2 it will be, now what, it will be this value, okay. That means uh, this value, okay, and minus this value multiplied by multiplied by the value of x3, and then divided by the coefficient of x2. So it will be minus 2.5. And lastly, for the backward substitution, we'll use uh, 7.85. This one. Mm. minus this value multiplied by the value of x3 minus this value multiplied by the value of x2 and then divided by the coefficient of x1 so it will be 3 so we got 3 minus 0 0.25 and 7. So in, this is how you will use the LU decomposition values to solve the system of the equations. So uh, we got these results x1, x2 and x3. Okay, now let's move back to PowerPoint. So as you can see that the solution from the Microsoft Excel has been explained by you know, for this example. So first we got D1, then we got D2, then we got D3, then the vector D of course, and then we got X3, X2, and X1. Okay, 3 minus 0.25 and 7 point zero zero. Okay, so next we will uh, use this uh, LU decomposition for calculating the uh, inverse of this matrix. So LU decomposition can be also useful for finding the inverse of this matrix A. Okay, so for this there is a step-by-step -step procedure which will be easier to understand if I, if I do it on uh, Microsoft Excel. So uh, we have used the same uh, examples as before so this is the same matrix a and then which we earlier uh, transformed into u and l matrix okay so uh, let me go to the microsoft excel so i had this uh, u matrix and then i has this uh, l matrix over here so as a first step i will take this l uh, matrix uh, here so I will just copy it here. So this is the L matrix. And then I will determine uh, inter intermediate components D1, sorry, D1, D2, D3, intermediate coefficients. And then for this, the uh, the uh, uh, augmented vector will be 1, 0, 0. And then from here for the back uh, forward substitution will give us the values of D1 as equal to 1, right? Because this is 1 and then it is 1, okay? The value of D2 will be equal to uh, this value minus uh, minus uh, this value 
multiplied by this okay and the last one will be as 0 minus this value multiplied by first value minus this value multiplied by the second value so it will be uh, minus 0 0.1009 in the solution of these uh, equations first we did the forward substitution uh, with the lower triangular matrix then we will do the backward substitution with the uh, upper triangular matrix so where is the upper triangular matrix so upper triangular matrix is is this okay so let me write down the upper triangular matrix here and then these newly got coefficients are here so we have these coefficients and from here by the backward substitution we will get the first column elements of the uh, inverse matrix so we can call them as um, we can call them any number like um, inverse matrix okay i1 i2 i3 okay just for the sake so that means i3 will be equal to i3 will be equal to this one uh yeah this this one this value divided by this value, right? so it will be minus 0 0.00 minus 0 0.01008 and then equal to uh, this value this value minus this value multiplied by the previously calculated value and then divided by this coefficient this will be minus 0 0.00518 and then equal to uh, this value minus two multiplied by last one and then minus this value multiplied by this second value bracket close divided by <coughs> this three so it will be minus <coughs> 0 0.332489 in this way we have got the first uh, column elements of the inverse matrix and the sec for the second column uh, inverse matrix we can perform the same procedure so maybe i can do it uh, quickly here in excel uh, for example i just copy this but in, in that case i will be using uh, one not one zero one zero which i will be using zero one zero okay i will be using zero one zero the answer should automatically update but i think uh, this uh, lower triangular matrix i need to make it correctly over here this is this lower triangular matrix okay so for uh, the upper triangular matrix so i have this upper triangular matrix uh, here and uh, this one and this one and then i have these values over here of course i will update it Mm. so uh, this value should be uh, should be here we should use these values um, so, uh, here we can see that because it's already set up in this uh, sheet so uh, these 0 1 0 0.0273 values were put here and then the from the backward substitution these values were uh, obtained so these uh, values are the uh, second row element uh, second column elements of the inverse matrix and similarly we can find the third column elements of the inverse matrix. okay
Okay, so let's repeat the process for the third column, which will be like that. So I will write the cell matrix again. This is the L matrix, and uh, for this, it will be used as 0, uh, 0, and 1. Okay, 0, 0, 1, and then in the resulting uh, matrix uh, D1, D2, uh, D1. D, D1, D2, 3, 3 vector will be 0, 0, 1 also. And then we will use it with the U matrix. So it equal to U and uh, will be, this is the U matrix. And for this, I can copy it. So it, is, it was 0, 0, 001 and then this is the uh, 0.006798004 and 0 0.0988. So what is the inverse matrix which we got? The inverse matrix is now. So inverse matrix is this is the first column. And then this is the second column. And this is the third column. And the original matrix is uh, here. Okay original matrix is here so this is the original i a matrix so this is the a inverse a inverse matrix so original matrix is this so original matrix is this So if we want to verify it, so then what can what can I do is I can multiply these two matrices. So M M M U L T. The first array is this, and the second array is this. Close. Control Shift Enter. So I will get this value. So one. And this value is to the power minus 18, 10 to the power minus 18. So some round of error, 0, and then 0 also. This one, this is round of error, 0, 0, 0. So it is almost uh, 1, 0, 0, 1. So it is an identity matrix. Or in another, in, in another way, like equal to MMULT. In this case, I will take this array first and then the second array first. So it should be the same. Control shift vector. So it will be like this 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So it means that our answer is correct. So in this case, what you can see is that the inverse. Uh, taking the inverse process is similar to the process for finding the solution of the uh, system of three uh, equations same steps first you will uh, use the lower triangular uh, matrix and uh, use the forward substitution and then you will use the upper triangular matrix and then you will use the backward substitution and in this case we will get uh, these values column by column Okay, so first column and then 
second column so first column we get with 100 zero, zero. second column we get with 010 zero, zero. and the third column we get with 001 zero, zero, let's go back to this uh, powerpoint so the same uh, example so first uh, we got the first column values and then we got the second column values and then by we got the third column values and that's all 